Department is often known as much for its drama off the ice as it is for the action on it. The latest plot twist has Olympic gold medalist Kim Yuna splitting with her coach, Canadian champion Brian Orser. Orser started coaching Yuna in 2006, propelling her to the top of the sport. Brian Orser joins us in studio. His first TV interview since this story broke. It's good to talk to you. Good to talk to so you. The most obvious question is the one that I'm not even sure that you can answer. What happened? <laughs> what happened? Um, gosh, I mean, it's. I mean, I was. I'm just kind of shocked by the whole thing, and um, you know, there's a, a lot happens when when somebody wins an Olympic gold medal, and mm -hmm. and I think um, you need to give that person some space. You mm -hmm. need to give them some time to digest everything. It's a it's a life altering event. Mm -hmm. This you know for Yuna. And, you know, when she came back after her break in April, we, we had done some shows in Korea, and things were a little bit different. And I had spoken to her mom, and, you know, I was, I was planning my summer schedule, so I was trying to figure out, you know, just getting some kind of indication of whether she wanted to keep training. Mm -hmm. Should I leave some time for her? I had a lot of other people coming, so I needed to make sure that I had the time if she required that. And her mother said, no, you go ahead and fill that spot. Um, she'll be around, but uh, we're just uncertain what she... Because it's not doing. uncommon for elite coaches and coaches at your level to have many different athletes that they're working with, right? Right. Uh, yeah, I have a number of athletes, and I run the program at the club, and mm -hmm. so um, that's very normal to have other athletes, and they all work together, and they, and they um, have a great camaraderie, and that's what's so special about our club. And mm -hmm. that was part of what was happening in recent weeks was that there was tension. There was tension, and everybody knew that there was something up, and everybody was on eggshells. And so, who came? You came out and said, "I'm, I'm leaving," or "I think I'm gone." No, no, no. I, I knew I was gone. Okay. You no. Know, um, but who told you? Yuna's mom. Okay. This directly. Was directly. I had a meeting with, um, with Tracy Wilson, myself, a translator, mm -hmm. y Yuna's mom, mm -hmm. and Yuna's agent. And what, what? How would you characterize your relationship with your mom over the past? You know, while we've had a great relationship, as far as you know, her mother knows a lot about skating. She knows her daughter. Yeah, she and she's given up her life. She said, "I majored in Yuna. I mean, yes, that's, I've dedicated has. my life to this. I've left well, my husband behind in Korea. I've, yep. I'm completely dedicated to my daughter." And she's very accurate about a lot of things, whether it's costume, whether it's the program, whether it's the setup for a jump, and she studies it. And she 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 mounts her blades. She knows her sharpening. She knows everything about this. So she girl. told you directly through a translator. Yes. So we just said. Um, I mean, she just. Um, she said that we're leaving the coaching seat empty. And so I wanted to have some clarity at the end of this little meeting. I just sort of looked at everybody and so said, "Just to make it all clear, so we are not, as Tracy and I are not teaching Yuna anymore." Mm -hmm. And she said that is correct. Does she think she can fill that spot, or is she actively looking for somebody else? Do you know? I have no idea. But did, what, what? So you must have first thought, well, why? Well, Trace and we I just left. won a gold medal at the Olympics. <laughs> Trace and I left that meeting, and we were <clears throat> just shaking our heads, and we were like, "We just got canned." <laughs> Did she give you a reason? Did you ask for a reason? Well, there was some. There were. We had a few discussions about some things, and we had given Yuna some space, and we allowed her that space because she's an adult, and she, and I'm not going to go in and push her and say you need to go to the next Olympics. It's her decision, and it's her life. So we gave her her space as a courtesy. Did and, she interpret <clears throat> that as neglect? Um, perhaps. Maybe, but we were at the rink every day with her, and yeah. even in recent weeks, I was helping her a little bit with things here and there, and giving some input with the new program. And then, but there, there was rumors swirling back in April about uh, Mao Sada, and who, that she who, had contact number two, and her, her main right, rival, and her main rival for five years. Did she, she make you an offer? Did her camp make you? An no, offer? They, did, they absolutely did not. Okay. And so, I, but I contacted Yuna immediately. I sent her an email and said... When you heard these rumors. Right. And the head, of, the head of, my, of my email was rumors. And I said, you know, I'm sure you've heard about these rumors. However, I'm loyal to you. Mm -hmm. You're my main priority, my only priority. Mm -hmm. And your skating comes first. Brian, she tweeted yesterday, <laughs> would you please stop to tell a lie, B? I know exactly what's going on now, and this is what I've decided. So I'm, mm -hmm. I'm obviously, there's just some grammatical errors there, but what, what's she referring to? Um, <clears throat> I think... Has she been told something different? Well, no, no, she's, she's an adult, and, <clears throat> and I'm, <clears throat> I'm actually happy that she's actually exercising her voice because yeah. she hasn't said any through, anything through any of this. <clears throat> and what this is confirms now is that um, I don't, it doesn't matter to me who decided what. I waited three weeks for things to possibly turn around. I have skaters going to these competitions, these Grand Prix events coming up. 
And I don't need to have this, because it's inevitable that this will come out, <coughs> that I'm not working with Yuna anymore. I don't want this coming up later in the season. Mm -hmm. I don't want to be going to a Skate Canada championship with, with Adam Rippon and this being the focus. I mean, mm -hmm. it's, it's about the skater. It's not about me. <clears throat> so it really doesn't matter who ended what. I mean, Yuna's mom told me, and now it's clear that when Yuna said that she decided, at least we know that they decided <laughs> and that they did do it. So on August 2nd, when Yuna's mother said that I'm not teaching her anymore, then that is the truth. So you go your separate ways now and that's it? We go our separate ways and, and I don't want to, I, I, I refuse to be flinging any mud at anybody because okay. she's a fantastic skater. I love Yuna. Yeah. We've had a great relationship. Those four years were magical, yeah. you know, as we saw with the Olympic Games. And I, and I worked with her, you know, every day of those training days and I put my heart and soul into it and if she wants to go a different direction that's perfectly fine you know it's if she it's a tall order to go again for the Olympics <clears throat> and perhaps she needs a change and I'm cool with that I'm totally cool with that but it was a great ride and I'm grateful and I learned a lot you know and I and I wish her the best she's but she's the best skater in the world and there's and nobody will will match this for a long time Brian thank you for <clears> the <throat> thank you good to talk to you you too so what do you think of Yuna's decision to release Brian Orser? Join the discussion on Canada.